Hey guys, it's me, Shani, and today I'm going to be doing a get ready with me. I'm so excited. I always love doing get ready with me. I think they're just fun. You can have me on in the background or you could get ready with me, actually. <laughs> I think it's fun. But um, today is going to be BoxyCharm themed. So I'm going to be using all products I've gotten from BoxyCharm and just kind of talking about it. I no longer uh, subscribe to BoxyCharm, but I did for two years. And so I'm just gonna kind of explain my experience, all these products, how I like them, how I don't, um, if I don't, you know, those types of things. Kind of almost review the subscription service of BoxyCharm. If you don't know what BoxyCharm is, it is five full-size products sent to you every single month. And I'm just going to talk about it. I thought it would be kind of interesting and I have so many products that I've gotten from BoxyCharm so I figured I could do a full face of it and yeah, so let's just get right into it. I have, um, let's see, I have some things in front of me. Okay. So what I've used so far that is not BoxyCharm related is my moisturizer from e.l.f. I've had moisturizers in the past from BoxyCharm, but I've used them all up. I have, I didn't really include skincare in this, but you do get skincare occasionally. And I have some of it left that I've been going through, but a lot of it I did actually use up. So you can check out my empties videos as well if you're curious like what skincare products I've gotten. But I also used my little Essence um, lip serum first as well. So lip care booster. So, because I couldn't find a lip balm that they had. Okay, I realized I left my coffee in the other room and that's not good. <laughs> okay, let's, let's continue. So I'm going to start with brows and... That's just what I normally start with. This is the Trestique Brow Gel and Pencil. So basically, this is the um, brow gel side and this is the pencil side. I have used up the pencil side of two of these, but I'm still, the uh, gel is still kicking. I like this one um, because it has longer bristles on one side and then shorter bristles on another. So you can use the longer bristles for this part and the shorter bristles for the tail. Um, one thing that BoxyCharm is great for is trying new brands. So if you're someone who is maybe new to makeup, you don't have too much, I think it could be a great option just because um, you are exposed to a lot of cool brands. Some are lesser known but then some are really well known like Trustique I had never heard of or maybe I've heard of them but I had never tried um, and so it was a good opportunity to try a product I never would have tried and I really love this one I um, have repurchased it once and I think I might repurchase it again so one thing that BoxyCharm has is BoxyCharm pop-up so you get the five items every month and you do get to choose one of them usually um, but the like they'll give you a little option but for the for the uh, BoxyCharm pop-up every month they have additional products that you can choose and buy um, and like add on to your subscription so I did that with this. I got this in a box regularly and then I repurchased it on BoxyCharm pop-up and the deals are like amazing on that. So that's another plus is like getting those deals um, through the pop-up sale. I just really like how it's a very pigmented eyebrow gel, but so it kind of puts everything into place, but it also, you know, gives you that color as well. I like it. I don't always need a brow liner really. Okay, next we're going to do eyes. So I'm going to, so yeah, I would. I think I could see myself repurchasing that again. Like I've already repurchased it once, but 
Um, next, I'm going to do my eyes and to start as a base, I'm going to use the Too Faced Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. And it is super, super good concealer. I do enjoy it. It's just not the right shade for me, really. I used to love the Born This Way um, foundation from Too Faced. And this came in a boxy charm where you can choose the item. And I think they were, the problem with that is like sometimes it'll be a um, choice and there is like some shades sold out. So I think I had to pick this shade. It is a shortbread, but I don't think I would have chosen it. Had I had all of the options but I feel like it still worked it just in some lightings it for me it just feels a little too yellow tone for my skin tone but this is such a big concealer size compared to my other concealers it is 15 milliliters 0.5 fluid ounces I had tried Too Faced before obviously I mean not obviously but I mean I've definitely tried it before but um i am gonna take my the palette i'm using today is the beauty bakery breakfast in bed eyeshadow palette and i'm going to take forehead kisses which i have a pan in uh to set my base but anyways i think that's one issue that you can come across with subscriptions like boxycharm is you don't always get to choose you know the items for the most part you don't get to choose the items for the most part you don't get to choose the shades necessarily so you might end up with a shade that's just slightly off or maybe not your color that you enjoy type of thing so while i've been using this i don't necessarily use it as under eye concealer i might today to see how it goes but I use this as my eyeshadow base just because I'm not 100% sure it's like the best shade match for me. But it does work as a good eyeshadow base before eyeshadow. So I use it for that reason. But it is cool that you see like well-known brands like Too Faced, well-known products like this concealer. Like I've been... I remember wanting to try this concealer before it was in BoxyCharm, so I was really excited. So that is always a plus. Next, we are going to, now that we're in this palette, let's use, I think we're gonna use Messy Hair as our matte, and then Lazy Baby as the, this is gonna be in the crease, this is gonna be in the outer corner so let's start there and a lot of these brushes actually i got from boxycharm i didn't even plan this but this is the lavish brush and i or the brand lavish and i got this from boxycharm i'm gonna mix mex messy hair with yawning and i absolutely love this palette this is a boxycharm everything is a boxycharm item in this video and I um, was just so excited about this because it, I got this, you know, around maybe 2020 and I just really, or 20, yeah, 2020. And I loved the theme of comfy glam. Like I just thought that was so fitting for the time because um, I wanted to do my makeup, but I wasn't necessarily going anywhere at the time. And so it's just like, I loved these purpley, cool tones and I really loved um, the theme of like breakfast in bed, comfy glam because she kind of said the creator said on the back um, that she wanted a comfy glam palette. I just really liked the theming of it. The uh, picture on the front is cute and the shades are really nice as well. So I can't complain. I think it's a good really good palette and I do reach for it every so often but I thought it would be a good one to feature and I hadn't tried Beauty Bakery at that time either I don't think so 
so it definitely introduces you to new brands so i think if you're new to makeup and if you're or if you're just looking for new brands like i was i was looking for more you know trying out new things i think that's a great reason to start the subscription but i'll kind of talk about the cons as well one thing i really loved about it I'm just taking a empty or a clean brush and just kind of smoothing out the edges um one thing i really enjoyed about it is the surprise factor because i love i love makeup and i love surprises so like being surprised every month with makeup was such a fun thing i would film videos too if you go back to like my older videos i would film myself opening them and it was just even if i didn't film myself opening them i was just like so excited and giddy to, to be opening that to be opening it so i think there's definitely that surprise factor and i absolutely loved that back back then this doesn't have a mirror so i'm like looking down at another mirror <laughs> Yeah, I feel like these shadows are just easy to work with and really pretty. Wait till you see the shimmers, they're really pretty. But yeah, we love the surprise factor. And, but there's a draw to that as well. Like there's, that's not always <laughs> the best either because you could end up with something you don't love and then I think one thing I started realizing is like, yeah, it's super fun and like, you know, great to have a surprise, but then it's like you're stuck with the item for its entire lifespan and you have to try to use it up or, you know, it just sits in your collection if it's not something you would have picked out yourself and enjoyed. This is the um, Pretty Vulgar, it doesn't even have writing on it, the Pretty Vulgar eyeshadow primer i've been using this literally for two years now and it's still i have a little left still so that just goes to show you i have i think two or three other eyeshadow bases from boxycharm um that i still haven't even opened yet because this one has been kicking for so long and I just use this for my shimmers, so I don't use it for the whole eye. So I think that's why I don't use it up that fast. But still, it's like crazy how long this has lasted me. We have next in this palette, I think I'm going to use, um, let's see. I think I'm going to use Fresh Face, but maybe I'll go in with Cuddle Cakes as well but mostly fresh face first. And I'm just gonna use the packing brush from Anastasia that I already put on eye primer. I'm just gonna dip into it here. And these shimmers are stunning. I don't know if you'll be able to tell how like vibrant they are, but they're really, really pretty. I might go in with, a, with my finger, let's see. Oh no, that's working just fine. Yeah, it's just a really pretty, like, unique, purpley, I don't even know what, how to describe this color. It's really, really pretty. But yeah, so there's things I'm so thankful I have in my collection and that I was introduced to, like the brow gel and this palette. But some of it, a lot of it, I just kind of used up. I didn't necessarily love so there's that give and take um you know you're stuck with the products forever and like i have gotten so many eyeshadow palettes from boxycharm which i love eyeshadow palettes but like there's only one me there's only i only have two eyes to put eyeshadow on and so a lot of these palettes i feel like i should have given away or something because you know, I don't know, I still could give it to a friend, but it's like, I do like to use them occasionally, but I just don't get a ton of use out of a lot of them. This one I have significant, like, dips into because I do really love this palette, but some of them that I'm, like, iffy about, I feel like they just 
don't get much use and like I'm never gonna go through these eyeshadows maybe forehead kisses the cream one just because I use that all over my eyes but these shades I'm never gonna use that probably ever so oh yeah that's really nice I really like that it's just kind of a simple eye but a really pretty shimmer if you look up close I feel like it's a nice sheeny glitzy shimmer um we're gonna come back to this one later but let's get into the face products um let's see here I have a primer I wanted to use this is the professional benefit uh pore filling primer and we're gonna start with this so a draw for me one of the reasons I actually ended my BoxyCharm <laughs> subscription is because, ooh, a lot came out here, um, is because of the fact that, yes, you get to try new brands, but some of these brands are not cruelty-free, and I did go cruelty-free with my makeup um, in the year, beginning of the year 2020, so kind of right when I was using BoxyCharm, so it felt kind of um, almost, what's the word, hypocritical because I was not buying, um, I wasn't buying any products that, you know, any makeup products that tested on animals, but then I would get, you know, a product from Benefit who is not cruelty free, um, and I would just feel kind of bad about it so I'm using these up because I got them in my collection technically Boxy Charm was a gift from my boyfriend so I didn't necessarily pay for these things but still it just felt it felt wrong to be using this I'm almost done with it so I will never repurchase unless they of course go cruelty free I do like this primer but it's just like I use I prefer other things because it's not cruelty free so so that's another, that's the main reason why I ended it because one of the reasons is because some of these products you'll see are not cruelty free and it's like, I hate using it, but I want to use it up. So, yep. Now we're going to go in with my foundation for the day. This is the Pure 4-in-1 Tinted Moisturizer SPF 20. It is a really nice product. I really like the um basically it's like the perfect coverage for me it's pretty light coverage but you can build it up um to be pretty pretty good here and then i'm going to use a sponge they also sent me that's kind of dirty it is the r kelly sponge i believe this was from a boxy charm as well and this might be a tad bit too dark for me right now but i'm gonna go with it i think the powder that i'm gonna use is gonna really um kind of help lighten it a little bit but yeah and this was a, another great product that I really enjoy and use a lot of the time or enjoy using <laughs> so that is another favorite of BoxyCharm this tinted moisturizer but and it is a good value so you do get um, I remember the value was always super, super, like, high compared to the price, so they would be like, it's a $200 value, like, just this box alone, and, you know, it was crazy, so it's five full-size products, and you pay, so I used to, I thought it used to be cheaper, but I did look it up, and it is $27.99 if you paid monthly for the base box which got kind of high because I don't remember it like that, but um, it, 20, it is 25 if you do annually, which I do remember it was around, when I, the first year I did it, we did it annually and it was 20, I think around 21 a month if you equaled it, if you, you know, did ca calculated it monthly, but then if it was the next year, I think it was, it went up to 25 
but we still did the annually so i guess it hasn't really changed it's just if you do monthly it's 27.99 which i just feel like it's a little bit higher but 25 if you do annually which is 300 a year which is kind of a lot i think i'm glad i'm not doing it anymore just because another main thing is yes it's a very good value because you get really nice full-size products from like high-end brands but it's like so much makeup that you that's just going to be sitting in your collection because i did the math and for two years of getting five full-size products a month it is 120 items that i got and that's not even counting what i was buying myself as makeup like you know occasionally i'd buy makeup from ulta or sephora or something and that's not even counting the pop-up sales so it's like it's just almost it just feels like overconsumption, and i'm trying to get away from that i'm trying to use and enjoy what i have and if you're similar to me where you're like i just need to use what i have or enjoy what i have then this might not be the best for you here so let's do cream products next but I'm like 120 items in two years, not even counting other stuff I got, like the BoxyCharm pop-up stuff. Cause you're tempted, believe me, if you get, if you get that, you're gonna be tempted by that too. So it's like, you're gonna want to buy it. Cause some of the deals are so good for BoxyCharm pop-up. They're like $10 eyeshadow palettes. It's like insane how they get, I don't know how they get those prices. I'm gonna use the Laura Geller. Uh, multitasking eye lip cheek palette this is one of my favorites in my collection and I really love the blush and bronzer I'm just gonna use the bronzer today and a different um, my milk makeup brush but I, I'm gonna use a different cream blush but I'm gonna blend it out but anyways I'm just like oh my gosh it's just crazy to me that's a lot of makeup so I and not to mention like I wasn't a beginner either I already had a ton of makeup before this so did I need 120 new items no I did not <laughs> so I just got to the point where I was pretty overwhelmed and that is when I decided to cancel or you know not renew so I don't regret my decision, and, but at the same time, you know, I'm glad I had it when I did. It was still a nice experience for me, and I use a lot of these products all the time. Like, for example, this right here. I, I use this a lot for cream blush and bronzer. I don't really use cream highlight, but if I did, this is a good color as well. Um, so yeah, this is a favorite. For sure, I use that all the time. For cream blush, I wanted to use this Seraphine Botanicals little um, lip and cheek palette, and this is pretty nice also. I don't always remember to use this one, but it is nice. Um, I think I'm gonna do this, maybe a mixture of these two shades with another milk Sephora brush. And, well, we'll start with the pink, the middle shade. Um, but, yeah, so that's kind of where I realized, okay, I need to calm down <laughs> with all these products. And the pop-up sales get you too. I think this, this um, brow gel and brow liner, I think it was like three or four dollars for the pop-up so i obviously bought it and i'm like i'm mixing a little bit of the nude in there because i think it's too too pink <laughs> but i was just like you've got to be kidding me this is crazy like the deals are so good and so i would buy them and then i'd be like oh my gosh how much makeup can one consume so I do think it kind of promotes overconsumption for me if you're new to makeup you might want all of those new products to add to your collection and have variety but if you have makeup already a lot of makeup then it's like 
overwhelming, I think, is kind of where I got. You do get a free gift for joining. I just was on there to see the prices and I was like, oh, that's kind of nice. You, But it's like all of these things to entice you. So I had more than 120. I had 121 because of the free gift. And I think it was an, an eyeshadow palette. So it's just a lot of products I don't use enough to justify having it you know or continuing I'm thinking I like it once we finish the eyes it'll all come together but yeah this is a nice little palette I don't necessarily think I needed this but it's still nice I guess um then we're going to set everything with this is not a, I didn't have a powder, I used up all my powders from BoxyCharm, but this is actually from the BoxyCharm pop-up, so it kind of counts, I bought this, oh wait, no, maybe it's not, oh never mind, it's not, I bought it from Ulta, I thought it was because it was Beauty Bakery, never mind, we don't need to use that one because it's not even BoxyCharm, I'll just use my tried and true, I do like that powder, but I'm going to use this one, the Filtered Effects Soft Focus HD Setting Powder, Pressed Setting Powder from the Rive Cosmetics, because that, I forgot, I bought that from Ulta, that doesn't even count, and this is like a faster application than loose powder, so I'm just going to use this. If you see me like looking over that way, it's because I can see cows out my window, <laughs> and... I don't always get to see them, they're, I don't know, they're pretty far away, but I can like see them in the distance, and I absolutely love seeing them, they're so cute, even from afar, <laughs> and because they're not always out when I see them, I'm like, ooh, <laughs> it just brings a smile to my face. Okay, here we go. So, yeah, I, what else did I want to say about BoxyCharm? I wrote some notes. Honestly, I think I covered everything. I just feel like it was a good decision for me to stop it, but I still kind of wanted to talk about it, see, you know, if you were on the fence about it, why it could be good or not. I do also want to mention that you do take a quiz kind of similar i used to get ipsy as well and i still have a ton of products i did ipsy before boxycharm ipsy is like a travel sized product version of boxycharm where you get five products a month but they're usually travel sized which is almost better if you're like me and you have a lot of makeup already i think that's better than boxycharm just because you'll use it up, you'll use up the products probably faster, but, um, but, you know, that's kind of preference there, but I think if Ipsy was, like, 14 a month or 15, but I think BoxyCharm is just so cool because you get the full-sized products, but it's, like, is it worth it? <laughs> is it worth it if you're, like, overwhelmed with your collection? I don't know, and for me, it was, like, so many non-cruelty free products that I just felt bad using <laughs> you know this is in light did I say it was in light I also have a big pan in it yes okay but yeah I still have a ton of products from Ipsy so it's like just too much sometimes <laughs> But the brushes were nice to get, like that's one plus. I think if you, it's really nice if you're more of a newcomer, I bet, I would think, because you get brushes, you get skincare, you get palettes and makeup, all sorts of makeup products, so it's nice because it's like, you get a nice variety. Oh wait, I didn't do concealer. What am I doing? I usually do concealer and then powder, but we'll see. Let's hope they 
go well together here. For concealer, I'm trying to decide which one to use because they're both like not the right shade for me, but I have the Born This Way one that I used on my eyelids. And then this is the Dose of Colors Concealer in Light Medium 11. Maybe I'll try using this one today. I just don't think this is the right shade for me either. I do love this concealer though. It is really, really nice formula wise. I just don't know if it's like the right shade. It's, has been an, a little dark on me in the past, or not even dark, but maybe it oxidizes is the problem. But I think I'm gonna use a brand I absolutely love is Alomar, and I did try them from BoxyCharm. I hadn't tried them prior. So I love their brushes that I got from BoxyCharm, like this one. I love their eyeshadow palettes. I'm using the same powder here. I should have done concealer and then did powder everywhere, but I kind of messed up the order. I think that's good. I don't think it looks too off, hopefully. <laughs> I'd love to know, have you tried any subscription services like this? Um, I know Birchbox is another one of them. I don't have too much experience with that one, but I have had BoxyCharm and Ipsy. I think those are the biggest ones that I know of really, but, or if you have other subscriptions, like let me know. I just, my only other ones I feel like are like TV services like Netflix I, I pay for, but um, yeah, I think it's an interesting option and like it's awesome for some, some people, but I think other people it can not always be the best thing, like me and BoxyCharm, I guess. I loved it for the two years I did, but I'm kind of... This is making me glad about my situation just because I'm like, you know what? I have so much makeup and now I have so much from BoxyCharm too. So it's like, I think I'm happy not having it anymore. But that is it for powder and concealer. I do really like this one and I'm glad that I was able to try it and now I know I like it. So now let's go back to the eyes. I'm gonna go to the breakfast in bed and I'm gonna take French Doors, this oh, light purpley shade here and I'm gonna put that in the inner corner. And yeah, today is my Friday. It's Thursday, but it's my Friday. So I'm excited, I don't know, I'm trying to decide what we're going to do this weekend. My boyfriend and I might go, I don't know, somewhere nature-y so we can <laughs> see the, um, the trees. Hold on one second. Okay, I'm going to use this Thrive Cosmetics smudge, smudgy brush <laughs> and the maybe messy hair on the, uh, then put it on the lower lash line. But, oh, that's a little too red. Okay, we're gonna go in with Yawning. That purple shade we used earlier. Just to kind of line it here. Um, but just to see the tree, the trees are, tr are changing so rapidly, like with fall. And I think we just wanna like see it before they all fall or go away if fall. Is that why it's called fall? Because the trees, the leaves fall? I don't know how I like this. We'll see. I think I shouldn't have done the red over here. Maybe I'll just 
do a tiny bit of red just to, not red but it's like a reddish purple that I did just to match it okay and then we are going to maybe do some liner as well I wanted to mention I'm not going to use this today this is an eyeshadow stick from Molly and it is in timeless taupe and I wanted to mention this just because it's like this taupey gray color I wanted to mention this because I got this in a boxy charm and I absolutely fell in love with it and if I was doing more of a no makeup makeup look I would use this and so it kind of introduces you to different categories of makeup as well I feel like like this one oh I have this lip line corrector that they sent me too from the brand QMS and um, it's like a lip serum, so, and I never, ever remember to use it, so sometimes they include, like, weird, different products like this, so. Like, what's a lip line corrector, you know? I'm like, okay, did I need this? No, but we're gonna correct our lip line with this product here because I never remember to use it but I thought for this video it would be good but then this is also the brand Molly it's a or Mally it's a ever color gel waterproof liner and I've been using this for literally a year now I feel like because I don't use black liner that often but when I do I use this one until I run out And not even to mention that, but I have like two, one, at least one more black liner, pencil liner from BoxyCharm. Ooh. I'm not even like looking, hold on. I'm just lining lightly up there. Okay. And that is good for the look I'm just gonna go ahead and do oh and I have this product here as well this was something interesting I got from Bakby Charm it's the pen pal make a mauve little lining thing and it has it's almost like if you remember from childhood those pens where you can like click it and the different colors would come out so this has all these different colors I used up the dark brown for an eyebrow color so I already used that up there's this champ light champagne that I use for the inner corners of the eyes sometimes. There's this mauve color that's really pretty as a lip liner. I'm using a different lip liner today, but I wanted to mention this little product as well. I thought maybe I could f find a use for it for t today, but I don't think I'm going to. But it's interesting. Then we're going to let's do, I'm going to curl my lashes because I've never gotten a lash curler from BoxyCharm. And then we're going to go in with this mascara that I got from them, the Blink Ultra Volume Tubing Mascara. And I've been using this for a few days now, and I do enjoy it. I've gotten many mascaras from them, and this is a tubing formula. It's the only tubing formula I've gotten from them. And I do enjoy it. It is very easy to remove, but I think it's not as easy to remove as the Thrive Cosmetics one. So that one's still my favorite, but I have been enjoying using this one. Okay. Nice. I feel like you can't tell, but it does make a big difference having mascara I feel like it just completes the eyes
think that's good. I really like the purpley eye look. It's just, it's not too overly purple, but it's still like enough that you can kind of tell. Love, love this mascara so far. I think it's a good, good one. Okay, next is we're finishing the face. I gotta keep rolling here. I have a couple different palettes I'm gonna use. So for bronzer, I'm gonna use the Ace Beauté Bronzed in Paradise palette. And this is, um, I like it, but I'm like, when am I gonna use all of these bronzers? I think this would be great for a makeup artist. And I have done makeup artistry in the past, on like, you know, doing makeup on others, but I don't do it too much anymore. So it's like, do I need these deeper shades? I feel like I just never reach, in general, I don't reach for, um, for face palettes that often. But I'm just gonna go in with the lightest shade and just kind of do, I don't think I'm gonna do the temples just cause I already got that with the cream bronzer and I don't wanna make it too dark up here. Um, and then I just take my powder brush and kind of blend out what I did. Good. It is a good bronzer, I just don't ever reach for this palette even though the packaging's pretty um then we have the seraphine botanicals hippie no hippie what am i saying happy hibiscus luminizer and blush palette i think i'm going to use this uh petal silky pink and then this dew drop illuminating gleam so these two yeah, these two bottom shades here, and with we'll use my Olimar brush, which was from BoxyCharm, and just kind of blush it up here. And this is a nice palette too. I do enjoy this palette, but I don't, again, I don't reach for it that often. It'll take me forever to use these up or even pan them, <laughs> so something to consider. <laughs> Now we're going to blend that out and then highlight and lips and we are finally done here. It is fun though getting ready. I wanted to kind of just go over all of these products. This is my highlight brush from Thrive Cosmetics. I've been doing a little bit on the nose too. Just kind of blend that out with my fingers. Very pretty highlight from this palette. And it smells kind of like hibiscus. Very nice. Okay, we have Mellow Cosmetics. This is their lip liner in rose. And I do like this color. I had never tried this brand before getting this. Oh, does it go with this look? I don't know. Oh, also for highlight, I have this pink one from Too Faced that I never use from BoxyCharm, but I almost thought maybe I'd use it, but I think the one I used worked better. Alright, so nice lip liner here. I like it. I don't know if it goes completely, but here we are. Then I'm going to maybe make it a little bit more nude with this MAC lipstick um, in Kind of Sexy, another product that's not cruelty free, but I did get it, so I'm using it. I 
think that made it a little more nude. I don't know. It's kind of like this nudie pinkish color. And I always, growing up, I always wanted a MAC lipstick. So I was like kind of excited to get this, but at the same time, I shouldn't support them at all. So what can you do? This is Alamar Cosmetics Birthday Suit Lip Gloss. And I remember being so excited when I got this because it was like a limited edition packaging or something just for BoxyCharm. Sometimes they do that. It's like a limited edition product or something just for BoxyCharm and this was that and I was really excited because I love Alamar since trying all of their products that I've gotten. I have like some palettes from them too and some face palettes and um, yeah so this is a nice gloss from Alamar and I think that <laughs> does it. I can't believe it. It's been a long journey to get here but i hope you guys enjoyed this crazy get ready with me video i enjoy the look i don't know if this is a little too pink for the uh eye look but i still enjoy it um overall i really enjoyed having boxycharm getting the product i enjoy a lot of the products i used today i kind of went over those reviews <laughs> reviewing the product as i went over it but overall i think i'm happy that i did it but i'm also happy i don't have baku charm anymore i hope you enjoyed this little video if you did definitely like and subscribe or comment um i'd love to know your thoughts on subscription services what subscriptions you have um and everything like that but i hope you have a wonderful rest of your day bye